John, can I get you back to the topic I wanted to talk to you about, which, yeah, which is Stevie sure. Wonder? Yeah, but you've been wanting to speak to him. You've wanted. You've been wanting to speak to him. You've been wanting to speak about him for ages, and you've not. Well, my colleague is very scatty. Yeah. Well, yes, but, but just, anyway, yeah. We'll let, for, get, for new, we'll let him get onto the subject of Stevie Wonder. Okay. Uh, Stop panicking. There you go. Okay. Right. Well, about whenever we started doing this show, soon after that, there was an announcement. There were, uh, Mr. Stevie Wonder announced that he had three three new CDs coming out. Uh, a gospel album, uh, a, a full orchestra with with re- reworkings of his classic love songs, mm. and a, a new album of dance music as well. And um, for two, three, four, or five years after that, nothing happened. And um, we have we have we tried to tweet. We tweeted to Classic Motown. We tweeted to Motown, and there was no information at all. And um, we hit upon a cunning plan because. Um, you have been trained, John, in how to plan a route. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, a, a visually impaired slash blind person, as we're called now. Um, we get trained on... This, we get something... We get an activity, which is a laborious activity, and I'm sure most people would agree with me. It's a very boring, laborious activity... What's called? We get an active. We have to do. When you're growing up, you get an activity called or, orientation, orientation and mobility training. It's called. Orient, orient, orient? orientation. Okay, orientation. And mobility training. Right. Um, anyway, so the the object of it is is so we we can go into shops. We, you know, you know where they are, and uh, yeah. So basically, effectively, yeah, you have to. We yeah, we know how to plan. Yeah, we know we know how to plan routes and. We're probably a lot more safer as as vulnerable people out on the street as far as learning about the Green Cross Code and knowing the Green Cross Code and kn- knowing certain things, knowing certain bits of information better than the able, able-bodied person. Because you see, I'm not, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to rave on about this too much. But I have to say something about it while I'm on the subject, and I'm sure we will end up shutting me up or telling me to be quiet. But 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 he he will um. I've all, I've always noticed it's always something that's annoyed me, even when I was not using my chair full time. But it's something that annoys me even more now because I've noticed that people can be walking and people are more interested in what's coming out their ears than what's going on in the, what's going on in the uh, city. Oh. Even what's going on in the, even what's going on directly in front of them, and I just find it really really annoying that they should do this. They shouldn't be listening to. Their iPods or MP, you know, MP3 players. Why they're out walking around? You know, it, they don't. Even, sometimes they even forget to look when they cross a road. It's it's go. It's really really going. It's dreadful that, that this this should happen. So sometimes going back to this orientation of mobility, um, which includes route training. Um, sometimes I think the disabled person or bl- bl- blind and slash visually impaired person in particular are 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 are, are more safer in the in the street than than the average able body person because at least we are not taught to go along with earphones in our <laughs> in our ears to 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 listen to music we, you know we wouldn't even dream of that so you know, I've got no, I've got no time for it. If, they, if people want to get knocked over and okay. do right. themselves serious yeah. injury, that's up right. to them. Okay. Well, John, I think, I think you've, made, I think you've made your point. So can well, I, that's can wonderful. I, can I take you that's back a little bit? So wonderful, yes. Because I, I noticed, on. I noticed Stevie Wonder for, might come, might appear through the curtains mm. in, at the start of a concert at the left hand of the stage or the right hand of the stage, possibly, with a sort of guitar keyboard, and. Do a do a sort of intro to the show. Well, yeah, that's quite possible, but then and then, so can I just c- carry on, John? Yeah. Then, uh, by the time the curtains go back, he's mm. in the middle of the stage. He's towards the back of the stage, in front of another lo- load of keyboards. So yeah, somehow he's made a, made a, a significant move. Well, if you listen, I might have a I might have a hunch on how he does that, or maybe not how he does it specifically. But I'm guessing that that he. That when he turns it to an arena, you know, he probably maybe depending on where he's traveling from, he might have a he might be taken into his restful room to maybe have a rest or prepare for his show, 
and then he will have to rehearse that show. Um, so during that time, the way I understand it, he would actually get to learn the layout of the stage, um, where, whereabouts he's coming out. You see, that's how they, that's how they learn. That's how we learn the information. We, so if somebody would take him, physically take him onto the stage and and take him around, and so he can learn the layout, and then uh, it will be more pleasant when he when when he comes out. Okay. Yeah. Well, our cunning plan to mm. get towards him and get an interview out of him, find out when his stuff's coming out. Mm -hmm. We can always go back to that. Right. Well. Anything else? Anything? Well, no, I think I think you've answered the question. Okay. Do you want to play a song? Yeah, I'm going to play. I'm going to play this song. Uh, there's two tracks. I don't know. I don't know if there's an album coming out, uh, but there are two tracks. So it's answered. Our, is that, he's also answered the question about these three CDs. It turns mm -hmm. out to be two tracks, and he's left Motown as well. Mm -hmm. He's got, got a label called What the Fuss Records. Who's Stevie Wonder? Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Okay. So what that's about, I don't know. Um, okay. But this this is called Where Where Is Our Love Song. Right. Mm -hmm. 